We are looking good for yet another day. We're going to continue this gradual warming trend. Hang on to sunshine, have minimal issues coming our way as far as active weather goes. And then you get to the weekend. Our Lexington Financial Center live camera downtown and our Pepper Rickhouse Distillery District camera still showing. The sun isn't up yet, but the max track is clear and you got lake effect snow. You've got a coastal storm that is throwing heavy rain towards uh, NYC and Boston and snow up across Maine. And the active storm track for the next couple of days continues to just roll across the Great Lakes. You have these waves of low pressure going through. Look at the current snowpack as of yesterday. Almost 39%. Well, yeah, 39% of the continental United States covered in snow. And with the most recent snow that we've seen, it's still out there. They got hammered in Ohio. And if you look at visible satellite imagery, you can not only use it to see cloud cover, you can use it to see snow. Notice where it looks like clouds, but it's not moving. This is snowpack, and it stretches from Ohio down across Indiana. Notice right along the Ohio River, almost the dividing line there. Uh, we've still got a little bit of snow and slush and ice left over, but a lot of that has been going by the wayside thanks to the sunshine during the day and the above average highs. And we keep that trend going today. This is the future track. Cold front coming in, a mostly sunny to just plain old sunny afternoon. The cold front will go through tomorrow morning, but it's very slow, so it's still hanging around by tomorrow afternoon. And there could be a few post-frontal showers developing there, so we'll keep a low-end chance for a few rain showers in tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Just mild enough to keep it that. And then another break, and then another front coming in Friday night, Saturday. That one will bring some isolated showers, but that one will bring much colder air, and you'll see that in your eight day. 19 degrees in Lexington, the high temperature trend over the weekend tanks. We're going to go from consistent 40s and 50s down into the 30s and then stay there Saturday and Sunday. And some of the models are latching on to the idea of maybe a little bit of late weekend snow. That's possibilities you get into Sunday and Monday. So that's what we're going to start to uh, kind of key in on whether or not that's actually even going to happen uh, is what we're looking at at this point. The temperature outlook mid to late February 14th through the 18th still showing below normal temperatures east of the Mississippi that above normal warmth pretty much bottled up out west. But in the short run today, tomorrow, uh, we're running above average. Uh, we're in the upper 40s today, 40s, even some uh, around 50 degree highs as you get west towards Shelbyville and Bardstown there. Mid 40s in Flemingsburg, West Liberty, upper 40s, possibly near 50 in Irvine and the same in Manchester down at Clay County and Barberville. So a pretty nice day for February standards there. Monticello and Jamestown, both around 50, as is Columbia, some low 50s. So it's good. Uh, tomorrow we'll be in the low 50s here, which means southern counties could hit mid 50s. It'll be breezy Wednesday, though, with that frontal boundary coming through. And again, isolated showers out there. And again, more isolated showers. Even a few as you get into Friday night and Saturday as that second front comes in. You can clearly see the impact that second front has, though. Temperatures do drop over the weekend. We fall into the 30s, and there's the potential there. If we see it, uh, we could have some snow shower chances, possibly some snow in the mountains Sunday night into Monday. So we'll keep an eye on that as we get closer to the weekend.